in the world of entertainment, Nick Adams, an accomplished actor, left an indelible mark. Born on July 10, 1931, in Nanticoke, Pennsylvania, he pursued his dreams and became a beloved figure in the industry. Adams rose to prominence in the 1950s, a bustling era for television and film. He first gained recognition for his role in the classic series The Steel Jungle, which resonated with audiences and critics alike. His portrayal of a young convict trying to turn his life around showcased his versatility and talent. Following his breakthrough, the actor continued to make strides in both television and film. He starred in the popular series The Rebel, where he played a former Confederate soldier seeking justice in the post-Civil War West. This classic role cemented his status as a leading man and endeared him to fans across the nation. Throughout his career, Nick Adams demonstrated his prowess as a thespian in various genres, from westerns to science fiction. His work in the 1956 film The Man in the Gray Flannel Suit and the 1959 cult favorite The Globe Trotters showcased his ability to captivate audiences with his nuanced performances. Despite his untimely passing in 1968, Nick Adams' legacy continues to endure. His contributions to the entertainment industry remain a testament to his versatility and talent. Older adults who cherish this classic era can still step in and enjoy his work, which has transcended time and resonates with new generations. Nick Adams was a talented actor, known for his work in film and television. You might recognize him from classic shows and movies. Do you have a favorite Nick Adams moment that has stayed with you? Or perhaps you've been inspired by his career in some way? We'd love to hear your stories and memories about this classic star. What's your most cherished experience related to Nick Adams? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing some fun, surprising, and even emotional facts about Nick Adams, so stay tuned. Did you know that Nick Adams started his career as a stuntman before transitioning to acting? Or that he was close friends with James Dean and even witnessed his fatal car accident? These are just a few of the fascinating stories we'll be exploring in this video. So, whether you're a longtime fan of Nick Adams or just discovering his work for the first time, we hope you'll enjoy learning more about this talented actor. And don't forget to share your own memories and experiences in the comments below. Born in 1931 in Nalchik, Russia, Nick Adams and his family migrated to the United States when he was just a year old. The actor's early years were spent in New Jersey, where he was raised in a working-class family. His father, a house painter, and his mother, a homemaker, instilled in him a strong work ethic and a love for storytelling. As a child, the actor was captivated by the world of cinema and often spent his weekends watching classic films at the local theater. He was particularly drawn to the works of James Cagney and Humphrey Bogart, whose powerful performances left a lasting impression on him. During his teenage years, the actor's family moved to Chicago, where he discovered the art of acting through a high school drama class. His natural talent and charisma were quickly recognized by his teachers, who encouraged him to pursue a career in the theater. After graduating from high school, the actor moved to New York City to study acting at the prestigious Actors Studio. There, he honed his craft under the guidance of legendary acting coach Lee Strasberg, who became a key influence and mentor in his career. Strasberg's method acting technique, which emphasizes the use of personal emotions and experiences to create authentic, and believable performances resonated with the actor. He embraced this approach and incorporated it into his own acting style, which would become his trademark in the years to come. Throughout his career, the actor remained deeply grateful for the guidance and support of his mentors, including Strasberg and fellow actor's studio member Elia Kazan. He often credited them with helping him develop the skills and confidence needed to succeed in the highly competitive world of acting. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, the actor remained committed to his craft and continued to push the boundaries of his art. His unwavering dedication and passion for acting left a lasting legacy in the world of cinema and inspired generations of actors who followed in his footsteps. Nick Adams was a rising star in the film industry during the 1950s and 1960s. His career began with small roles in television shows but he quickly made a name for himself as a talented and dedicated actor. In 1955, Adams appeared in the classic film Rebel without a cause alongside James Dean. His performance in this film caught the attention of both audiences and industry professionals, and he soon became a sought-after actor in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Adams appeared in numerous films and television shows, including Picnic, The Big Land, and The Rebel. 
He also starred in his own television series, The Rebel, which aired from 1959 to 1961. Adams was known for his intense and emotional performances, which resonated with audiences and critics alike. He was also known for his professionalism and dedication to his craft, often going above and beyond to ensure that his performances were of the highest quality. Despite his untimely death in 1968, the impact and influence of Nick Adams continue to be felt in the film industry today. His contributions to Hollywood helped pave the way for future generations of actors and actresses, and his legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Every great journey begins with a single step, and for the actor Nick Adams, that step was taken early in his life. As a child, he was captivated by the magic of cinema. He would often sneak into his local theater, enchanted by the stories that unfolded on the silver screen. It was during these formative years that a passion for acting was ignited within him. One pivotal experience that further fueled his desire to pursue a career in acting was his first visit to a live theater performance. The energy of the audience, the raw emotion of the actors, and the power of the story left a lasting impression on young Nick. From that moment on, he knew that he wanted to be a part of that world, to create that same magic for others. Throughout his teenage years, Nick sought out every opportunity to hone his craft. He participated in school plays, community theater productions, and even formed his own troupe of actors. His dedication and talent were undeniable, and it wasn't long before he caught the attention of industry professionals. Nick's first big break came when he was cast in a small role in a classic film. Although his part was minor, he made the most of it, pouring his heart and soul into every scene. His performance was noticed by the film's director, who was impressed by the young actor's raw talent and passion. This led to more roles and eventually to a successful career in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Nick remained dedicated to his craft, always pushing himself to be better and to take on new challenges. He became known for his versatility, his ability to slip into any role with ease, and his commitment to creating authentic and memorable performances. In the end, it was Nick's passion for acting that set him apart from his peers. He loved the art form with every fiber of his being, and it showed in every performance. His legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of actors to follow in his footsteps and to discover their own creative spark. In the film Mr. Roberts, the actor Nick Adams played the role of Reber, appearing alongside three Oscar winners Henry Fonda, Jack Lemmon, and James Cagney, as well as two other nominees, Nick Adams and William Powell. In Hell is for Heroes, the actor took on the part of Homer Janicek, for which he was dressed in a size 40 field jacket, as requested by Mike Kellen's character. However, this size would have been much too large for the actor, who was only 5'7 tall, as the sleeves on a 40 would have reached his knees. During the filming of Hell is for Heroes, tensions arose between Steve McQueen and Bobby Darren. When stories of their feud appeared in the trade papers, the film's publicist was let go. It was later revealed that it was Nick Adams who had leaked the story to the press. Feeling remorseful, the actor chased after the publicist's departing plane, shouting apologies. Nick Adams, a talented actor, faced numerous challenges early in his career. Born on July 10, 1931, in Nanticoke, Pennsylvania, he experienced financial struggles that threatened his dream of becoming an actor. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, from working in a juice bar to selling shoes, all while pursuing his passion for acting. Despite his financial difficulties, the actor remained determined to succeed in the industry. However, he encountered skepticism from those who doubted his abilities. Rather than letting this discourage him, he used it as motivation to work even harder. To overcome industry skepticism, the actor focused on honing his craft. He took acting classes, studied with renowned coaches, and appeared in various stage productions. His dedication paid off when he landed his first significant film role in Picnic. However, the actor's financial struggles persisted. To support himself, he took on additional work, such as appearing in television shows and commercials. He even worked as a singing waiter in a New York City restaurant. Despite these challenges, the actor remained resilient. He found creative solutions to his problems, such as using his connections in the industry to secure auditions and roles. He also learned to be selective with the roles he accepted, choosing those that would showcase his talents and further his career. In the end, the actor's hard work and determination paid off. He became a successful and respected actor, known for his versatile performances in both film and television. His resilience and creative problem-solving serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors today. 
Moreover, Nick Adams played the role of Homer Janicek in the film Hell is for Heroes, where his character was nicknamed Kid by Bobby Darren's character, despite being five years older in real life. This irony is striking, especially considering both men died at a young age, with Adams passing away at 36 and Darren at 37. The film Hell is for Heroes boasts an impressive cast, featuring one Oscar winner, James Coburn, and three Oscar nominees, including Bobby Darren, Steve McQueen, and Nick Adams himself. In addition, the actors spent a significant amount of money, 8 to 5, 500, on advertising to win the 1963 Best Supporting Actor Academy Award for his role in Twilight of Honor. Although he lost the award on Oscar night to Melvin Douglas and Hud, he was reportedly devastated by the loss, having been convinced of his own chances of winning. After serving as a Marine in the Korean War, Mick Adams found his true calling in acting. In the early days, he struggled to make a name for himself, but his fortunes changed when he was cast in the television series The Big Valley. His portrayal of a ranch hand, Heath Barkley, brought him widespread recognition and critical acclaim. One of the show's writers, Luella Parsons, praised Adams for his authentic and raw performance, which she believed added depth to the character. She said, Nick brought a certain grit to Heath that made him stand out. His performance was a turning point for the show. In 1958, Adams' career reached new heights when he starred alongside James Dean in the classic film Rebel Without a Cause. Although Dean received much of the attention, Adams' performance was also highly regarded. Dean's biographer, Val Holly, noted that Adams held his own against the more experienced actor. He added, Nick's performance was a breakthrough moment for him. He proved that he could hold his own against the best in the business. Adams' career continued to flourish, and he became a familiar face on television and in films. However, it was his role in The Rebel, a Western series that aired from 1959 to 1961, that truly cemented his status as a leading actor. As the show's star, Adams played a Confederate soldier who travels through the Old West, seeking a new life. Director Bud Bodicher, who worked with Adams on the show, praised his intense and focused performance. He said, Nick was a consummate professional. He brought a level of intensity to every scene that was truly remarkable. Despite his success, Adams' life was cut short when he died of a drug overdose in 1968. However, his contributions to the world of acting live on, and his breakthrough moments continue to inspire aspiring actors today. As Botiker said, Nick was a true talent. His legacy will endure for generations to come. After starting his career in New York City, the actor Nick Adams moved to Los Angeles in search of better opportunities. Initially, he gained attention by doing impressions of famous movie stars such as James Cagney and Marlon Brando. One of his earliest significant roles was in the stage production of Tom Sawyer, where he played the character of Muff Potter. However, it was his role in the film Mr. Roberts that really put him on the map. Interestingly, several members of the cast and crew of Mr. Roberts were actual Navy veterans who had served in the Second World War. This included actors Henry Fonda, Jack Lemmon, Harry Carey Jr., Buck Cartalian, and Jack Pennock, as well as director John Ford, who had attained the rank of Rear Admiral. The film was based on a novel written by Thomas Hagen, who had served as a communications officer aboard the Navy cargo ship USS Virgo. Cinematographer Winton C. Hott had spent his naval career filming many top-secret activities, including work at the atomic testing facilities at Los Alamos. The film also had several technical advisors who had served in the Navy. John Dale Price was a naval aviator and four-star admiral who had served during the First World War, the Second World War, and the Korean War. Commander Merle McBain had served as a Navy information officer in World War II and in Korea. Frank Coughlin Jr. served 23 years as a naval aviator during the Second World War, Korea, and the Vietnam War. Nick Adams and Patrick Wayne, who were also in the cast, had served in the Coast Guard during the Korean War and the Vietnam War, respectively. Other cast and crew members had served in non-maritime service branches. For instance, writer Joshua Logan and actors Duke Kahanamaku, Ken Curtis, Frank Aletter, Ty Andrews, and Gregory Walcott had served in the Army. Actors Martin Milner and Denny Niles had also served in the Army during the Korean War. In summary, Mr. Roberts was a classic film that brought together a talented cast and crew, many of whom had served in the military. Their experiences and expertise contributed to the film's authenticity and success. Nick Adams, a talented actor, is known for his unique approach to work. He values artistic vision above all, 
believing that each project should have a clear and distinct identity. To achieve this, he immerses himself in the script, conducting thorough research to understand the context and characters. Adam's creative process is deeply introspective. He reflects on his own experiences and emotions, using them to inform his portrayal of complex characters. This personal touch sets him apart from his peers, adding depth and authenticity to his performances. One notable example of Adam's unique style is his work in the classic film Rebel Without a Cause. His portrayal of the troubled teenager, Jim Stark, resonated with audiences due to its raw emotion and honesty. Adam's ability to tap into his own vulnerabilities allowed him to bring this character to life in a way that felt real and relatable. Adam's worldview is also reflected in his work. He is a strong advocate for social justice and often chooses roles that allow him to explore important issues. Through his art, he aims to challenge audiences and inspire positive change. In summary, Mick Adams is a thoughtful and introspective actor who brings a unique perspective to each project. His ability to draw from his own experiences and advocate for social justice sets him apart in the world of film and television. Nick Adams, known for his role as Johnny Yuma in The Rebel, had a good friend in Robert Conrad. In this classic, Johnny Cash sang the theme song, a choice that Adams had hoped his friend Elvis Presley would get. In the film Pillow Talk, Adams played the character Tony Walters, just returning home from Harvard. His mother volunteers him to drive Jan into town, a 30-mile trip to Manhattan. The Walters family resides in Scarsdale, making this a nearly 60-mile round trip. It's quite the imposition, especially considering Tony's recent arrival and potential exhaustion. Despite the long journey, Tony agrees to drive Jan. It's a testament to his character and the bond that forms between the two in the film. The dynamics of their relationship add depth to the storyline, showcasing Adam's ability to portray complex characters. Transitioning to the production side of things, it's interesting to note that Adams had hoped for Elvis Presley to sing the theme song for The Rebel. While that didn't happen, the fact that he had such a connection with the King of Rock and Roll speaks volumes about his friendships in the industry. In both The Rebel and Pillow Talk, Adams showcases his talent as an actor, seamlessly transitioning between roles and demonstrating his range. Whether it's the brooding, rugged Johnny Yuma or the obliging, friendly Tony Walters, Adams brings each character to life with authenticity and depth. Nick Adams, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, emerged in the 1950s as a promising talent. His career took off with his debut in Francis and the Navy, and he continued to make a name for himself in various TV shows and movies. Adams was known for his ability to immerse himself in diverse roles, making him a versatile actor of his time. According to renowned film critic Leonard Maltin, Nick Adams brought intensity and commitment to every role he played, making him a standout in any ensemble. One of the most notable contributions of the actor was his work in the classic series The Rebel. As Johnny Yuma, he portrayed a thoughtful, introspective character, which was a departure from the typical portrayals of rebels in media at the time. This role demonstrated his range as an actor and paved the way for future complex characters on television. Moreover, Adam's influence extended beyond his acting prowess. He was a close friend and confidant of James Dean, and their friendship has been the subject of much discussion in Hollywood. It is believed that Adam's stories about Dean have contributed to the ongoing fascination with the late actor's life and career. In addition, Adams was an early advocate for environmental causes and used his platform to raise awareness about pollution and conservation efforts. His dedication to these issues was ahead of his time and demonstrated his commitment to making a positive impact beyond his acting career. The actor's career was tragically cut short due to his untimely death in 1968 but his influence on the industry remains significant. As film historian Aubrey Solomon puts it, Nick Adams left an enduring mark on the film industry and his work continues to resonate with audiences today. His ability to captivate audiences and bring depth to his characters has made him a classic example of a versatile actor who transcended trends and techniques of his time. Nick Adams, known for his role as Johnny Yuma in The Rebel, never attempted to speak with a Southern accent despite playing a former Confederate soldier. His natural Pennsylvania accent was prominent in the series. Off-screen, he was related to Judy Nugent, who became his sister-in-law. In the film Pillow Talk, Adams portrayed Tony Walters and drove a 1955 MGT F-1500 Roadster. His character was charming and added to the film's romantic tension. The car he drove became an iconic symbol of his on-screen persona, 
representing his character's carefree and adventurous spirit. Overall, Nick Adams was a talented actor who brought his unique energy to every role he played. His performances in The Rebel and Pillow Talk showcased his versatility and charisma, leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Nick Adams, a respected actor, values his privacy and keeps his personal life low-key. However, he has shared some aspects of his life outside of acting. Born in 1931, Adams developed a love for nature and animals at a young age, growing up in rural Illinois. This passion for the outdoors has stayed with him throughout his life and is reflected in his philanthropic efforts. Adams is an active supporter of environmental conservation organizations and has used his platform to raise awareness about the importance of preserving natural resources. He has also been involved in various animal welfare causes, working closely with animal shelters and advocating for animal adoption. In addition to his environmental and animal welfare efforts, Adams is a strong advocate for mental health awareness. He has been open about his own struggles with anxiety and depression and has used his experiences to help others who may be going through similar challenges. Adams' personal values and interests have also influenced his work as an actor. He has often chosen roles that reflect his love for nature and his concern for the environment. In his free time, he enjoys hiking, camping, and birdwatching, and has incorporated these activities into his work whenever possible. One of Adams' most memorable roles was in a classic film where he played a park ranger dedicated to preserving the natural beauty of the wilderness. Through this role, he was able to combine his love for acting with his passion for the environment, creating a memorable and impactful performance. Overall, Nick Adams is a multi-talented actor who uses his platform to make a positive impact on the world. His personal values and interests in environmental conservation, animal welfare, and mental health awareness have informed his work and inspired him to make a difference both on and off screen. After turning down a minor league baseball position with the St. Louis Cardinals due to low pay, Nick Adams found himself working as a bat boy for the Jersey City Giants. His passion for acting eventually led him to co-star with Aldo Ray in a sci-fi horror movie, Murder in the Third Dimension. Unfortunately, upon arriving in Rome, he discovered that the project had been canceled, leaving him with a wasted plane ticket. In the classic film Giant, after James Dean's untimely death, Nick Adams stepped in to provide the voice for Jet Rink during a few lines of a banquet speech. Despite the challenges he faced throughout his career, Adams remained committed to his craft, leaving behind a lasting impact on the film industry. Nick Adams, an actor who left an indelible mark on the film industry, began his career in the early 1950s. His work in classic films like Rebel, Without a Cause, and Picnic showcased his versatility and talent. Despite his untimely passing in 1968, his legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors. Adam's career trajectory offers valuable insights for those hoping to follow in his footsteps. He started by taking small roles and gradually worked his way up, demonstrating the importance of perseverance and hard work. His ability to adapt to various roles, from a troubled teenager in Rebel without a cause to a romantic lead in Picnic, highlights the need for actors to be versatile and open to new challenges. When asked about his advice for aspiring actors, Adams once said, always be prepared to audition and never give up. Success comes to those who work hard and stay committed. He emphasized the importance of continuous learning and improvement, encouraging actors to hone their craft through classes, workshops, and rehearsals. Adams' future contributions to the industry would likely have included even more memorable performances and perhaps directing or producing roles. While he is no longer with us, his legacy continues to resonate within the film industry, inspiring new generations of actors to pursue their dreams. In conclusion, Nick Adams' career serves as a testament to the power of perseverance, hard work, and versatility in the film industry. Aspiring actors can learn from his approach and strive to emulate his commitment to continuous learning and improvement. Let's discuss the actor, Nick Adams, and his significant contributions to the world of entertainment. His work has left an imprint on many, and it's fascinating to reflect on his career. In the 1950s, the actor gained recognition for his role in the television series The Big Valley. This classic show allowed him to showcase his talent and charm, captivating audiences nationwide. Adams also starred in several films, including Rebel Without a Cause alongside James Dean. This movie became a cultural milestone, further solidifying the actor's presence in Hollywood. Throughout his career, Nick Adams proved himself to be a versatile performer, excelling in both television and film. 
His work continues to resonate with generations, inspiring many to pursue their own passions in the entertainment industry. Now, it's your turn to share your thoughts on Nick Adams' work and legacy. What are your favorite roles or memories of this classic actor? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's keep the legacies of influential artists like Nick Adams alive.